If you have a Gmail account, then you're probably aware already that you get 15 gigs of free storage. And if you pay for a G Suite account, then you have even more storage space. You get up to 30 gigabytes of free storage. So you can see here, I've got 2.29 gig used of 30 gigabytes. And this is always shown at the very bottom of your screen in your emails. So what do you do when that storage starts to fill up? In this video, I'm gonna show you two different ways of freeing up space in your Gmail account. So the first way is to go into your promotions and your updates tabs. So if you go into promotions and updates, so these are basically where any newsletters and calendar reminders, general sales emails, etc. this is where they come into. So it's easy to forget to look into these tabs and before you know it, you've got over 100 emails in there and some of them may include large attachments. So to remove these emails, you can bulk delete by ticking the box at the top of the page here to select all of the emails on this particular page. So you can see here, all 50 conversations on this page are selected and there's an option to select all of the conversations in the updates tab, which is a total of 105. I'm just gonna leave it as this first page to begin with. And if you don't want all of them deleted, you can go down each line and you can actually untick the ones that you, that you don't want to delete. And then it's just a matter of hitting the, the trash can, the bin at the top of the page for deleting these, these items. See, that's all well and good, but if you've got pages and pages and pages of these emails, then it's gonna take time to go through them to see, to make sure that you're not deleting something that you actually want to keep. So there is a quicker way, and that is by using the search bar. So the second way enables you to search for larger emails so you can filter ones that contain large attachments, for example. Now to do this, all you need to do is type in the search bar has H-A-S, semicolon, attachment, space, larger, semicolon, and then type in a file size. Obviously 25 megabytes is the largest that you can send on email. So I'm gonna say 20 megabytes and press return. And you can see here, this has filtered out all of the emails that contain attachments larger than 20 megabytes in size. And you can see it also gives me the options across the top here. I can filter it down even more by selecting ones that are PDFs or videos. So once you've gone through and removed the emails that you don't want, you can then change the size of the attachment in the search bar. So instead of saying 20, you can then go down to 15 and 10 and so on. If you can't actually remember what to type as in has attachment, etc., then if you click on these uh, more search options bars on the right hand side of the search bar, if you click into there, and then it's just a matter of choosing the parameters that way. So you can tick has attachment and then the size greater than and put in the size that way and then click search. And again, it will filter out the ones that are larger than 15 megabytes. Another quick thing to remember is to empty your deleted folder once you've finished. So Gmail holds delete, deleted emails for 30 days before getting rid of them. So if you want to remove them straight away, what you need to do is go into your bin folder and that is if you scroll down and click on more in the menu on the left hand side and your bin folder will be there. So if you click into there and you can either go through and again bulk select all of the emails here to delete or you can just click on empty bin now at the top here and this will remove everything that's in your bin folder. I'll actually include a link at the end of this video to a tutorial showing you how to restore deleted emails just in case you delete some by mistake. So let me know in the comments what's been the highest amount of storage you, you've used so far in your Gmail account. I had a client once who'd used 93% of her 30 gigabyte storage. It was like, ah! So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.